Hello, here's the NAN News highlights. I am Patience Aliyu. President Muhammad Wari has joined other leaders of the sub-region for the 53rd Ordinary Session of the Equal Authority of Heads of State and Government in Togo. The session was dominated by the political and security situations in Guinea-Bissau, Mali and Togo, as well as institutional reforms of the ECOWAS Commission to enhance its effectiveness, illegal migration of Africans to Europe and the violent clashes between herders and farmers among others. At the end of the session, a new chair of the ECOWAS Authority is expected to take over from the incumbent and host. No fewer than 20,000 hunters in Borno have vowed to work in conjunction with the Nigerian army to rid some beasts of forest of insurgents. The hunters, in a counter-insurgency conference between them and the army in Meduguri, expressed readiness to fish out and crush the rest of Boko Haram sect from their enclaves. The Plateau State Government says it made 6.26 billion naira between January and June this year from its internally generated revenue, the highest ever recorded in the state. The state's internal revenue service said the 6.26 billion naira collated within the first half of 2018 was an increase from the 5.19 billion naira collated in the corresponding period of 2017. 13 ships loaded with petrol, urea, diesel, bulk oil and other products have arrived in the Papa and Tinkan Island ports, Lagos. The Nigerian Ports Authority disclosed that 29 more ships were expected at the ports between July 31st and August 25th. And the Nigeria Scrabble Federation says plans are underway to hold the first ever blind Scrabble tournament in the world. Suleiman Gora, the Federation's president, said they were in alliance with the National Initiative for the Blind and Hemophilia Group to gather tools for the tournament. For details of these and other stories, please log on to our website, nan.ng.